On this week's episode of Biking with Panda, I build berms and reroute awkward sections using techniques I've picked up from other trail builders. I've been hard at work clearing the top, but the primary objective on Sunday was more fun. Simultaneously reroute the entrance to stage 2 while creating a reinforced banked surface using rocks to ensure it will stay together for a long time. This made the route more direct and allows the rider to keep more speed while still remaining challenging. I've been using the rototiller to make dirt easier to move in shape, dramatically cutting down the time I spend swinging a mattock. This is especially important moving forward as we build larger features. A local rider came out to help and mentioned this section would be better leveled out since it was awkward and slippery. This section leads into a turn with a boulder that had been a persistent bother, but that was easily removed with the mattock. Way back up at the top, riding the original route here was a unique hell. We rerouted it to be a straight shot, making it actually rideable. It still needs some help from tires to remove the remaining roots and vegetation out of the way, and I kinda want that boardwalk built here after all. It'll look nice and hopefully be easier to ride. I started using a 1 gallon water sprayer to evenly soak the ground while compacting the soil, accelerating the solidifying process. That and a wheelbarrow really ramped up my shovel game. I moved a few loads of rocks and dirt to create a firmly supported pitch, though we'll probably end up pinning some logs outside with rebar during the dry season. I used a soil tamper here and that really helped a lot. The next day, this section was like concrete. That ledge gives you too much speed for this flat turn, so I gathered some boulders from the area and organized them into a tapered surface to pack dirt against. It's my first time doing anything like that, but we'll add more dirt later, and for now, it worked perfectly to help control the bike. I attempted to fix this corner, and I did make it a bit better, but it really just needs a proper berm built for the maximum effect. By the way, have you ever noticed how the forest almost seems to dance in the sunlight? This part of the trail was terribly bumpy thanks to large roots, so I abused the rototiller to loosen up and move soil into the holes. Oh my god, I uh, you can see the rototiller is running now. I just started it as quickly as I possibly could. It was like my worst nightmare. Just look up in the woods and I see this very large and dark furry animal walking towards me. Just look like a bear. I don't see it now. It went up back that way. Way back that way. That's the thing, I'm out here with the animals and I don't see them, but they're seeing me. Okay, on camera, that, I've noticed a couple times now, it looks a lot easier than it is. But the problem is that there's this tree right here, so you have to come to the left of it and then there's nothing to catch you down here, so. What we really need is a berm that comes up. That's just no way around it.
don't know when I'll get to fixing this. I don't know. I did kind of ride through it. Just, I don't think the GoPro caught it. But I swear it happened. Fucking files corrupt. So you can do that even if you just power up. You really need to just power up it. Oh look, a partridge. I don't actually know what noise they make. thinking should I get a third person shot of that part of the trail but uh, I don't want to stop I like riding it Okay, that's icy now. I was trying to fix it before, but I couldn't visualize what I actually needed to do. So I tried to fix it. And I kind of got there, but not all the way. Okay, that's... Always pretty intense there. Oh, I just tried so hard not to dab that. But, I mean, it's pretty steep. My gimbal might die. Need to do an endo there. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That wasn't, but okay, I'm tired. I didn't get to fix this yet. But I have a plan, and it's gonna surprise you. Little rock garden there, fill in the hole. Probably need to do the same there. Pump, pump, pump. bottom half right now. If you haven't seen parts one and two, go watch those now. 
trails are never complete, but it will be open to the public soon. This weekend, we will be building some easy jumps with a couple special guests, so be sure to subscribe and tune in for more. And until next time, you know what to do. Go ride.